So I think at the peak of the tech, I won't say bubble, but the frenzy on tech companies, your company was valued, I thought, around 95 billion or yeah. something like that. So $95 billion for a startup is pretty impressive. But then the meltdown in the tech world occurred. I think yeah. your last valuation was probably something closer to 60 billion. Mm -hmm. So is that depressing when you're from 95 to 60? 60 is still very high. Yeah. And were people upset or you say, this is just the tech world and it'll go back up? Yeah, look, people have a funny relationship to prices where, um, uh, first off, in the entirety of the public market space, you had uh, a lot of enthusiasm in 2021, especially for things like you know, SaaS and FinTech and things like that. If you look at companies in a similar space to Stripe, uh, but that are public, be it uh, uh, you know, uh, Shopify or Square or anyone like that, they also had kind of much higher valuations in 2021, and those came down because you know, interest rates changed, the environment changed, and so of course that should flow through to valuations. But we find in the private market world, uh, people get very funny about it, and I see other companies trying to preserve a valuation that doesn't make sense anymore. Like prices are based on, you know, you're at the midpoint of supply and demand, and uh, they're kind of the imputed value of all the future cash flows. But I don't think it serves anyone to be in denial about what a price is. Okay, so let's suppose somebody came to work at your company at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. They don't own as much as you do, but presumably they own some. Mm -hmm and they're not going to be maybe as wealthy as you and your brother might be, but they might say, I'd like to sell some stock. I don't have as much uh, reserves as other people. How do they get to sell their stock if you're not going public? Do you buy their stock back from them? Yeah, so what we've done twice now is uh, tender offers where we uh, match together, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, investors and, you know, sometimes also use the kind of company's own cash that it generates and, uh, you know, do a buyback program where people have the opportunity to sell their shares. And so we did that last year. We did that this year again. I think we'll probably do it again in the future.